I acknowledge the presence of this college upon the traditional lands of the Gunditjmara, whose cultures are among the oldest living cultures in human history. I honour the presence of their ancestors who reside in the imagination of this land and whose spirituality flows through all creation. I honour the ongoing custodians and recognise their continuing connection to land, waters and cultures. I pay respect to the elders of the community and extend my recognition to their descendants, including those who are present today. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to join in singing the National Anthem, led today by Caitlin Garner and accompanied by Miss Maria Karras Kerr. The words are printed in your program. The Emmanuel College Concert Band formed in June 2017 on the back of the Year 7 instrumental program. The band has been so successful, a new junior concert band was formed this year. Conducted by Head of Performing Arts, Mr Ian Leonard, the concert band has continued to develop its repertoire and today they will perform a medley of our principal's favourite tunes.
Good morning. My name is Harrison Price. And my name is Brianna Circuit, and together with Harry, we are the 2018 Student Captains of Emmanuel College. This week seeks our role as 2018 captains to come coming to a close with the 2019 captains inducted into their roles this Thursday morning. We will hand the Emmanuel Leadership Torch to the incoming leaders and in passing on this symbol of leadership, we will wish them and all those who hold leadership positions at Emmanuel in the next year all the very best. On Thursday evening, we will celebrate our graduation with our families, our peers and our teachers, bringing our secondary journey, journey to its conclusion. This morning, we welcome you to Warrnambool, to Emmanuel College and to the stage. We trust you will enjoy this ceremony to officially open this magnificent performing arts centre. As someone who loves the performing arts, as someone who has studied VCE drama, as someone who has been involved in my school's musical productions, and as someone who loves the opportunities for growth that come through the performing arts, I am extremely excited about what this facility means for the next generation of Emmanuel College students, even if I won't be getting to pursue my acting career here. This morning we welcome the Bishop Ballarat, Bishop Paul Bird, the Minister for Education, Minister Dan Tehan, College Governor, Sister Eileen Ann Daffy, Sister Mari Davy, Father John Fitzgerald and Father Laurie O'Toole. Emmanuel College Board Chair, Karen Youngblood and Board Members. We welcome Sir Sister Bernice Kerr, Leader of the Sisters of Mercy community of this region and her fellow sisters. We welcome Bill Slater representing the Ballarat Catholic Education Office and his wife Annette and Christopher Houlihan from Mercy Education Limited. We welcome trustees and representatives from the philanthropic foundations and the groups who financially supported this project and all other supporters of the college. We welcome former students and inspiring alumni. We welcome the directors of Emmanuel College Foundation. We welcome men member for South West Coast, Roma Britnell, local mayors, CEOs and representatives for the Warrnambool City Council and Moyne Shire. We welcome principals and representatives from local primary and secondary schools and those from further afield. We welcome all those responsible for the design and construction of the stage. We welcome staff, students and family members. Over the last 12 months, this building has been transformed from the rather ugly duckling that was our old school hall into the graceful swan to serve future generations of Emmanuel students and the community. I would like to draw your attention to the artwork that you saw on the wall as you entered created by part-time staff member and local artist Megan Cullum and local artist Philby. The starting point for their work depicting creativity expressed through the performing arts was the timber floor of the old hall. You will find pieces of the parquet flooring used in the artwork and also used to make the small crosses for each of the rooms that Bishop Paul will bless a little later on. We would also like to congratulate Year 10 student, Caitlin Garner, who proposed the name The Stage for this Performing Arts Centre. The Stage stands for Student Theatre for Arts and Growth at Emmanuel, and it was chosen from dozens of entries in a naming competition held last year. There are a number of people who are unable to attend today. The names of these people who are apologies are printed in your program. Also printed in your program are the words of the national anthem and the finale for today's opening, I Am Australian. Please join in singing at these times. No one is allowed to go to lunch today unless we can hear you singing. It's time for the show to begin. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. Thank you to the concert band for warming things up. But now let's welcome the cast members from this year's musical production of Footloose accompanied by members of the Footloose show band to perform the song, Holding Out for a Hero.
only I could find a guy who'd make the first move. If only I could find a guy who, when he went to kiss me goodnight, he'd take the toothpick out of his mouth. If only I could find a guy. Where have all the good men gone? And where are all the gods? Yeah. yeah. Where's the streetwise Hercules to fight? Rising odds. I'd like to know. Is there a white knight upon a fiery steed? Late at night, I toss and I turn. I toss and I turn. Please welcome our principal, Peter Morgan, to the lectern to speak about the redevelopment of the Macaulay Hall into the stage. Bishop Paul, Reverend Fathers and Sisters, Member for Wannan, Education Minister Dan Tian, distinguished guests, staff and students, thank you for joining us to celebrate the opening of the stage. You were seated this morning in the Whiten Theatre, named after Whiten House, the home of Captain John Martin Ardley, who established this property and resided here between the early 1850s and his death in 1872. A commander of a ship in the East India Company, Captain Ardley later purchased and operated several trading vessels, among them a ship named Whiten. Whiten is also the name of a small seaside port in southeast England 
close by to where Ardley was born. John Martin Ardley arrived in Australia in 1841, first settling on the Merai Creek just north of Melbourne. After a short time in Kilmore, he settled in Warrnambool in 1852, where he was appointed the Clerk of Petty Sessions and Clerk of the Peace, as well as Harbour Master of Lady Bay. His home, Whiten House, was named after one of his uh, ships, as I said before, and the street to the east of this building is named Ardley Street. In 1872, eight women, Sisters of Mercy, arrived in Warrnambool having been invited by the Bishop of Victoria, James Alepius Gould, to establish a school. Whiten House, an eight-roomed stone dwelling with ten acres, was for sale. The sisters purchased the property, established a school, and delivered the first lessons on July the 1st, 1872. Over the years, they added to Ardley's home, building the convent which today is a landmark across this city. As best I can tell, Ardley's original house remains within the walls of that striking convent building. The descendants of Captain John Ardley have no doubt spread far and wide, but at least three of his descendants have joined us here today. And I thank them for being with us and for endorsing our decision to name this space the Whiten Theatre. In addition to the Whiten Theatre, the stage comprises multiple spaces of various sizes and configurations for teaching music, drama and dance. The centre has already become the home of our concert band, which you heard earlier, various ensembles and groups. It provides a teaching space for vet music, a course undertaken by our students and students from across the region. And for the first time in a long time, our team of talented and dedicated teachers and tutors are housed in quality facilities in the same building which they deliver their lessons. The refurbishment of the 1970s school hall that sat on this site and its transformation into the stage is one of many steps within the master plan that aims to transform this college into a modern, vibrant and dynamic place in which to learn. The completion of this $3.1 million project has been made possible with the support of the federal government who contributed $1.9 million through Catholic Capital Grants. Minister T and I acknowledge your support for this project and I ask you to take our deep thanks with you when you return to Canberra. The balance of the project cost was funded by the college through the building level levy that our families contribute annually and I thank business manager Stephen Kerr for the careful management of these resources throughout the project and for the backing of the College Finance Committee. And in addition, I acknowledge support from the A.L. Lane Foundation, the Ray and Joyce Ubergang Foundation, the Annie Danks Trust, the Deafness Foundation, the Gwen and Edna Jones Foundation, the Port Ferry Folk Festival, the Archie and Hilda Graham Foundation, Tim Rayner Audiology and Callaghan Motors for their support of this facility or of the programs that will run in it. I thank architect Matt Cirillo and his firm at Cirillo Architects for their meticulous oversight of this project. And to Clayton Harrington of Harrington Design and Constructions for your work delivering this project to the college community. Many of you will know that Clayton is not only a past student, but an inspiring alumni uh, of this school. Clayton, I wonder uh, how many people can claim a development such as this for the school they attended, the school that set them on their path in life. So I say congratulations to you. My thanks to the College Board of Management for their commitment in seeing Emmanuel College continue to develop and strive to become a school of choice for families of this city and its surrounds. And a very big thank you to the performing arts staff of Emmanuel College for their passion 
and enthusiasm to see the performing arts gain so much momentum at the college in such a short space of time. Later in this opening, you will hear the Emmanuel Singers perform a number from the movie The Greatest Showman. Regardless of whether you've seen the movie or not, I think you'll recognise the music behind the hit single This Is Me, I Am Brave. It tells the story of someone who, despite her obvious uh, physical differences, is empowered by P.T. Barnum's theatre to perform and to be herself. As the lyrics suggest, to march to the beat of her own drum, no longer scared to be seen and no longer making apologies for being me. The choice of song seems most appropriate for today's opening. The performing arts, perhaps more than any other field of endeavour, creates unique opportunities for humans to push the boundaries of human ingenuity and creativity. And our lives are enriched by those individuals who search for and find their own unique beat. The Greatest Showman tells the story, uh, probably with some poetic, poetic licence, I imagine, of P.T. Barnum. In the movie, Barnum is quoted as saying, no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. And I don't think there can be a better message for us as educators to share with the students who will enjoy learning in this theatre and in this performing arts centre and hopefully feel safe and proud to be themselves. In an era when there's pressure to look like, to dress like, to sound like, whoever social media projects to the top of the charts, places like the stage empower young people to perform without any encumbrances and in the process to discover their true selves. Being comfortable inside one's own skin is critical to discovering and developing one's potential. And if one can be comfortable with themselves in front of an audience of their peers in a place like this, then they can be comfortable anywhere. My hope for this centre is for current and future generations of Emmanuel students to be excited by, to be inspired, to be spellbound by music, by drama and dance. To be inspired by those who send a, a tingle down our spine with their music. To be energised by those who push the boundaries of athleticism through dance and to gain insights into humanity from those who bring drama to life. Recalling The Greatest Showman once more, there's a scene in which Barnum's uh, probably greatest critic, James Bennett, says, putting folks of all kinds on stage with you, all colours, shapes and sizes, presenting them as equals, why a critic might call it a celebration of humanity. Just as we need our schools, or we need spaces in our schools, where young people to, uh, discover both who they are and who they might become, we need spaces to celebrate the richness of humanity. In a Catholic school such as ours, we could say it's part of the journey of discovering what it means to be fully human, to have life and to have it abundantly. There is, in my experience, something about the arts that brings us closer to understanding humanity than perhaps almost anything else. And now the stage gives us a special and dedicated home in which the sounds of music, the spirit of dance and the power of drama combine to awaken in all of us the call to discover and to become our very best human selves. On behalf of Emmanuel College, I thank you again for your presence today. In a moment, I would like to call on the Minister for Education, the Honourable Dan Teen, to come forward to, to declare this building open. Dan, I should probably conclude with some final words from P.T. Barnum. And what could be better than 
the show must go on. Oliver, is that you? Get down here. Bishop Paul, it's wonderful to be here with you. Uh, we've got a bit of a habit of doing these type of events, bringing good news to people, and I think it's your wonderful blessing. So uh, it's wonderful to be here with you. Can I acknowledge Roma, uh, Tony and, and Mick, the two mayors who are with us, and uh, Peter, can I uh, acknowledge you? Can I say beautifully spoken? Uh, I think you summed up very well what this is all about. And can I say um, to all the young performers that we've seen so far, um, you have sold this building. Uh, I think they've done what we came here today to do. They have opened this building, they have opened this stage magnificently. From the time Caitlin sang that national anthem, it was sold on me. Uh, the way she sang it so beautifully, but the way the voice carried, uh, the way the lighting works, and then from what we saw from the band and, and the performers, you can see already, Peter, they're living up to what you want this, this building to do. Uh, they are being themselves. They, they are making sure that they can express themselves in different ways, and it's wonderful, wonderful to see. Can I start by recognising the school community because it is the school community that has led to us being here. I think it was about three years ago, Peter, that the, the, some members of the board and yourself came and saw me and said that, and I think the school captains described it superbly, this ugly duckling, which was the, was the hall, uh, needed upgrading and you were looking for a, a contribution from the federal government. And so I said, well, we'll obviously have to present our case. And so we were able to, to go down to Melbourne and to present, I think, a compelling case. And it was a compelling case because not only we were able to demonstrate the need for the region, but also we were able to demonstrate that the school community was 100% behind it and that the community itself would participate and contribute to the final product. And as soon as that message got through loud and clear, that the community not only wanted it but was prepared to play its part, my view was the case was sold and it turned out to be such and hence we are here today. And Peter, you talked about how music, theatre, dance contributes to making students bring the best out of themselves, to give them that opportunity to express themselves, which is absolutely 100% true. But also what the research shows is that it helps them also in their academic pursuits, in their academic achievements. Uh, Anyone who takes part in music, in dance, in performing, learns skills which helps them not only be the best of themselves but also to be the best of themselves academically. And I think what you have here now is something which will not only see individuals flourish but I think will continue to see the school flourish but also the broader community because the more we can have people who want to be part of the theatre, they'll go on and they'll contribute into the broader community. And not only that, as you were mentioning, you're able to bring people from outside the school here as well to make sure that they can take advantage of what is, what is a wonderful, wonderful building. Uh, I must say it's, it's days like today uh, which makes you very, very proud to be a, a local representative of the community. Uh, it's days like today which make some of the time where you shake your head and go, what am I doing? Why am I part of this? Um, that you sort of think it's absolutely 
all worth it. Uh, and can I say it's, it's a great honour to declare the stage open here today and can I thank once again the community because without the school community and the broader community, this wouldn't have been happening. So please give yourself a big, big round of applause and thank you. <laughs> and can I just finish by saying, I think I know why Peter asked the band to do the James Bond theme, because when Daniel Craig flashed up there, I could see about 30 years ago a little bit of a lookalike there. So I think in his heart of hearts, 007 might have been something you aspired to on the, on the stage as well. So, but thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you, Minister Tenton, for sharing this memorable occasion with the Emmanuel College community. Keela Maloney-Smith is a Year 8 student with a passion and a gift for dancing. Last week, Keela danced the opening and closing solos of Voices from the Fields, a tribute to the 100th anniversary of the Armistice and an insight into the impact of conflict. Earlier this year, she attended the Joffrey Ballet School in New York, joining dancers from many countries in a summer intensive program. A highlight of her time in New York was seeing the American Ballet perform at the Lincoln Center. On Emmanuel Day, Keela held all of us spellbound by her amazing hip hop routine as part of her performance for Emmanuel's Got Talent. Today, Keela will perform to music from The Nutcracker.
2018 college captains Harry Price and Brianna Circuit will now come forward to light the college candle to symbolise the presence of God's Spirit within our community. We ask Bishop Paul Bird to lead us in prayer and to commence the blessing of the stage and of the crucifixes to be placed in each of the classrooms. Sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and bless you. We come to ask God's blessing on this building and place of learning. All knowledge that we pursue about the world and about life has the final purpose of bringing us to the knowledge and worship of God who is truth. Lord, accept the glory and honour we offer you in union with the Church of all the ages. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we have the reading from the Word of God. We have many parts in one body, and all these parts have different functions. In the same way, though we are many, we are one body in union with Christ, and we are all joined to each other as different parts of one body. So we are to use our different gifts in accordance with the grace that God has given us. If our gift is to speak God's message, we should do it according to the faith that we have. If it is to serve, we should serve. If it is to teach, we should teach. If it is to encourage others, we should do so. Whoever shares with others should do it generously. Whoever has the authority should work hard. Whoever shows kindness to others should do it cheerfully. This is the word of the Lord. As I offer a brief reflection, first of all, I'd like to thank Peter and all the college community for the invitation to be with you. And as uh, Dan Tian said, uh, we've been together a few times in opening buildings here at Emmanuel. So we, we're we very glad to be with you and to celebrate this particular opening. The uh, traditional blessing of a house begins with the words, peace to this house and to all who dwell here. This obviously is bigger than your average house, but the same blessing I think is very appropriate to say peace to this house and all who dwell here. And uh, also, as uh, Peter so very well said, for the years to come, for the generations ahead, we could say peace to this house and to all who will dwell here as the years unfold. A great name for the building, as uh, we paid tribute to the author of the name, Student Theatre for Arts and Growth at Emmanuel. And that touches on uh, the gift of uh, growth in our life, which of course is particularly one that we associate with the early years, those uh, years in which a young person is developing all their gifts. And it's a personal growth, and uh, as uh, Dan said, also a community growth, insofar as each one will contribute their unique gifts to the community. So it's a great name, Student Theatre for Arts and Growth at Emmanuel, and so much growth can come through these wonderful arts that will be housed here. Um, Marie read for us the... Uh, reading from the letter to the Romans, in which uh, St Paul speaks about the gifts for the good of the community. In St Paul's 
understanding, of course, all gifts ultimately come from God. He spoke about the Holy Spirit as the giver of gifts for the building up of the community. And so when we come to an occasion like this, if we pause, we can remember the origins of the gifts that we have and we can offer a prayer of thanks to God as we do in this moment. We also uh, give thanks for all those who have been involved in this uh, transformation of the building into the building we have now. The college community, first of all with the vision and then with the practical implementation. We thank, as was mentioned by Peter, the federal government for the support uh, to catch something of the vision and make a great contribution to that. And then, of course, the architects, I suppose the role of the architect is to share the vision, share something of their own vision as well, and then translate that into practicalities, into a reality or a plan that can be put into practice. And then the builders, each one, so many talents must be involved in putting together a building like this. To all of them, we can offer our thanks today. Perhaps finally, just to return to that initial blessing, we pray as we gather today, peace to this house and to all who dwell here, peace to this house and to all who will dwell here as the years go by. Bishop Paul will now move through the stage and bless this building. He will be accompanied by Chair of the College Board, Karen Youngblood, College Principal, Peter Morgan, Director of Catholic Identity, John O'Sullivan, and the 2018 College Captains. Thank you. Do we, I think we had normally planned our prayers from different ones. So we've just jumped ahead a little bit. Okay. I think if we go back to... Sure. Yeah. Thank you very much for the guidance from the principal. <laughs> So uh, we do have a few prayers of intercession, which we have a number of people to read for us. Um, dear friends, we come together to give thanks to God for God's gifts of life and light and the great gift of the stage. In a spirit of faith, hope and love, we bring before God the needs of the world and of our community. And first of all, I think Justin will lead off. For our church, may each of us make use of our individual talents to spread the warmth of God's love to everyone we meet and help us to welcome all who come before us. Lord, hear us. For those who build, that the visionary work in education founded by the Sisters of Mercy, the Christian Brothers, and the parishioners of the parishes of Warrnambool continue to thrive and prosper. And that those who through their labour have created this space of learning be acknowledged in gratitude by our school community. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We, pay, we pray for the past, present and future students of Emmanuel College. We pray that the students of our school continue to grow and develop their many talents and gifts for the benefit of the community. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For our earth, that we appreciate the beauty of the natural environment God has given us. Through your transforming mercy, Lord, Impel us to show a reverent attitude towards nature and always care for creation. Lord, hear us. For those in the community who are battling illness or experiencing distress, may they be blessed and strengthened. 
And for those who have passed from this life to the next, we honour their lives and pray that they know the peace and joy of the risen Lord. Lord, hear us. My friends, with gratitude for all that the Lord has done for us, let's pray together in the prayer that Christ gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us ask God to bless us and bless the stage. We dedicate this building to the Christian education of our students, to discovery and excellence in learning, to creativity in the performing arts and growth in faith. All praise to you, Heavenly Father, Lord of all creation. You have gathered us in our college community to praise you by our words and actions. We ask your blessing on the stage which we have built for the education of our young people. Bless our students and staff, our parents, and all who promote quality education in this community. Bless our local community and all those who will enter and use the stage as a place of learning, performance, and entertainment. May our students grow in wisdom, <clears throat> age, and grace before you and all your people. May our school always be a home to faith, hope, and love for all. Loving Father, listen to our prayer. All glory to you, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We have a blessing of the water that we'll use for the sprinkling. Thanks to our readers of the prayers. Dear brothers and sisters, we ask God to bless the water that we have, which will soon be sprinkled upon this new building. God, our creator, your gift of water brings new life and freshness to the earth. We ask you now to bless this water and to give us protection on this day which you have made for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And a prayer of blessing for the crucifixes which are here, which will be in the rooms. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son to us because you love us. Let us live each day for you. Bless these crucifixes and let them remind us that Jesus died and rose for all. May we see the sign of God's unending love for each of us in these crucifixes. Help us to carry our own cross with him every day and to follow him in serving others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we offer a final prayer. May we come to know the ways of the all-knowing God. May Christ, eternal wisdom, teach us the words of truth. May the Holy Spirit, the blessed light, always enlighten our minds so that we may learn what is right and good and in our actions carry out what we have learned. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Thank you. Peter. And I think that's the point for, the, for our cue that we had a little while ago. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now Bishop Paul will move through the stage and bless this building. He will be accompanied by the Chair of the College Board, Karen Youngblood, College Principal, Peter Morgan, Director of Catholic Identity, John O'Sullivan, and the 2018 College Captains.
Ruby Conlon from Year 8 will recite the Prince's concluding speech from Romeo and Juliet. As part of the All the World's a Stage Year 8 elective unit, students learn a monologue or a duologue by heart. Ruby chose the Prince's speech as her performance piece as she was, quote, fascinated by the idea that in Elizabethan England, the audiences were already acquainted with the storyline before they experienced the play. Shakespeare asks the audience to go hence, to have more talk of these sad things. It is thrilling to think that the classics may be performed on this stage for generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ruby Conlon. This letter doth make good the friar's words, their course of love, the tidings of her death, and here he writes that he did buy a poison of a poor apothecary, and therewithal came to this vault to die and lie with Juliet. Where be these enemies? Capulet, Montague, see what a scourge is laid upon your hate, that heaven finds means to kill your joys with love. And I, for winking at your discourse too, have lost all brace of handsmen. All are punished. A glooming peace this morning with it brings. The sun for sorrow will not show his head. Go hence to have more talk of these sad things. Some shall be punished, some pardoned, for never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. The Emmanuel Singers formed a few short years ago and, under the guidance of Miss Maria Karras Kerr, have developed both their musical abilities and their repertoire. Today, they are joined by cast members from this year's musical production, Footloose. For our enjoyment, they will perform an arrangement of the Sarah Berrialis song, Brave, and This Is Me from the 2017 film, The Greatest Showman, prepared by Maria Karras Kerr and Brendan Donoghue. A stranger to the dark hide away they say because we don't want your broken parts I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars run away they say because no one will love you as you
the sharpest words want to cut me down Gonna send a flood, gonna drown them out I am brave, I am bruised I am who I'm meant to be This is me Ladies and gentlemen, to bring today's ceremony and celebration to a close, they will now perform the quintessential song, I Am Australian. The words of the chorus of this Aussie anthem are included in your program, and we ask you all to join in to help celebrate the opening of the stage. Dusty red salt plain. I am the ancient heart, the keeper of the flame. I stood upon the rocky shore. I watched the tall ships come. For forty thousand years, I've been the first Australian. I came upon. Bow down my iron chains I cleared the land, endured the latch And waited for the rains I'm a settler, I'm a farmer's wife On a dry and barren rock A convict, then a free man I became Australian I'm a daughter of a digger who sought the mother load? The girl became a woman on the long and dusty road. I'm a child of the depression. I saw the good times come. I'm a bushy, I'm a battler, I am Australian.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the opening of the stage in the Wyden Theatre. Please join us for lunch in the Red Rocket Cafe and later for a chance to inspect the stage facilities.